what's up welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new my name is Michaela. I'm a 23 year old foster mom making videos about motherhood foster care cooking cleaning lifestyle hauls um books infertility miscarriages all of the above I guess I just talk about everything um as you can tell by the title of this video this is another book haul this is books that I bought in October with the exception of two that I got the month prior because I wasn't able to include them in my last book haul. So um, majority of these books did come from Ollie's and I just kind of go there every now and then and check out and see what they have. I think I'm just trying to make sure that I have everything. First off, if you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, like I said, I do a lot of different stuff on this channel. Um, my channel is changing. So I'd love for you to subscribe and join us here. Um, I don't have um, a set filming schedule so if you are already subscribed go ahead and hit that notification bell that way you're notified whenever I post new videos because they're sporadic and I can only imagine that throughout the holidays they're just going to be even more sporadic and hopefully after the new year I'll be able to get back on more of a schedule but you never know what life is gonna throw at you aka 2020 so yeah but before I do this haul, I want to give you guys a little sneak peek into what's coming in the future. I do have a kids wish list video coming out. I do have a foster care, how COVID-19 has affected foster care video coming out. I have a recent reads video that is going to be coming out after my next video. So the next, the second video after this one. And um, I also have a Christmas home tour that's going to be coming out. Um, and I think that's all that I know that it's going to be coming out in the next like two weeks. So you're probably going to be hit with a lot of videos. A lot of them have already been filmed. I just haven't been able to get them up, uh, edited and uploaded yet. So anyway, I'm going to jump into this now. Uh, I will start with the first two books that I got in September and tell you a little bit about this situation. So I, like I said, I didn't get to include this in my last book haul. I lent them to my grandma who read, who was reading them at the time. So what I got... I, I don't remember one of these came from the Dollar Tree I don't know if it was after you after us or before you one of these came from the Dollar Tree um it, I know it was the second one it this one came from the Dollar Tree and so when I went it looked interesting it looked like a romance looked a little steamy so I picked it up for a dollar and then I come home to Goodreads and check it out and I'm like oh this is the second book I went on Amazon and bought this I'm not exactly sure exactly how much I paid for this one but I know I paid a dollar for this one I my grandma really liked these I haven't gotten to these yet and um just a sneak peek i'm currently reading red white and royal blue but that is my current physical read um but she said she really enjoyed these and i'm looking forward to reading them next um is we were liars this is insane that i found this at always i found this at always for 2.99 this was on my christmas wish list i think it was like nine dollars and this is the deluxe edition so it's, it's hardback but the coolest part about this is it is signed. Like it is a Sharpie signature. This is signed by E. Lockhart. I don't know what, what the first name is, but how insane is that? This was the only one they had and it was $2.99. Like first of all, two ninety nine for this book anyway, it's a hot book, everyone's reading it. And then it's signed. Like, like if you haven't always around you, go check it out. Like don't just stop this video go now because this is insane i'm so excited and if you watch my last book haul if you haven't i'll link it down below but i am slowly accumulating um uh found, i found a glass quart of thorns and roses i don't know the sarah j mass series and they have had a couple believe it or not at ollie's i have this is my third one i believe i haven't even read the first one but i know they're expensive this is a hardback and i paid oh my I paid a dollar ninety nine for this, a Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. Holy crap! This is a hardcover. This book is huge. Like guys, this is huge. I cannot believe I paid a dollar ninety nine for this. This is insane. I'm just I'm excited now. I just want to go back to all these again and just see what else they have. That's so crazy. That's awesome. I lie. There is not not all of these are from all these. I have a couple from a few other places. Two, well, one other place. This one is The Woman in Cabin, well, Woman in Cabin, The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. This was on my 
TBR on Goodreads, which uh, pretty much every book is on my TBR. Um, this this is uh, list price was $16.99, and I paid $1.89 for this at Goodwill. $1.89. So um, I, I recognized the cover right away. I knew it was on my list. So I was like, $1, $1.89. Have to get it. Like I said, I bought these in October. I knew this one was spooky. I knew We Were Liars was kind of like a mystery. So I was kind of going with that theme. Next, this one was $2.99. Also came from Ollie's. And it is again, but better by Christine Riccio. Riccio, sorry if I'm butchering that name. This one retails for $18.99. Oh, look, that's cute. Um, and again, I paid $2.99 for it. I know somebody, one of the booktubers I watched, I don't know if it was Haley. I think it might have been Haley that read this, um, but I recognized the cover immediately, and it is hardcover. It was very nice, so I picked this one up to read. Um, I know, I'm pretty sure that this is more of a story of, like, self-exploration. It's not necessarily romance. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm pretty solidly mystery, thriller, or um, romance, so I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't think whoever I, whoever I saw that read this didn't give it a great review, but for $2.99, I figured I'd check it out. This is the other book I got from Goodwill uh, for $1.89. This is a, a Nicholas Sparks book. I read Nicholas Sparks in high school. Anytime I see a Nicholas Sparks book that I haven't read, I pick it up because I know it'll be probably all right. I I'm figuring it'll at least be a three-star read. And this is um, Nicholas Sparks, a tr uh, novel, True Believer. Look for the return coming September 2020. So this one has, I guess, a sequel or a spinoff uh, or a companion novel that goes with it. And this is what it looks like. And like I said, if there's a Nicholas Sparks book, I'm picking it up. This one, this one might not have been like the super smart idea. But if this is The Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian, I feel like I have seen this on Book Talk or um somewhere i just feel like i've seen it somewhere it has a sequel um retails for 10.99 walmart had it listed for 7.68 and then it ended up at ollie's for 2.99 but i saw this and i was like i know i recognize this from somewhere so i was like okay 2.99 i'm gonna get it and see where it falls like i said i'm horrible next this also came from ollie's it was 2.99 and this is the vacationers by emma straub I think this is a romance. Again, I recognize the cover and I know that somewhere, someone I know has talked about it or it's on one of my lists and looks like the New York Times rated it four stars or people rated it four stars. It's a New York Times bestseller and it was $2.99. So I picked this one up. And the last like novel book that I picked up, I have two more books, but the last novel book I picked up is by Karen... Karen M. McManus, and it is Two Can Keep a Secret um, If One is Dead. And also, like, obviously, that makes me think of the Pretty Little Liars theme song. Um, I don't think that's the author, but it's hardcover. Wow, this is the book that I paid the most for. It was $4.99, originally $11.49, it looks like. Um, like I said, it is hardcover, and um, I recognized the title, and I feel like I've, like, this is kind of in the category of, like, um, we were liars so I picked this one up as a good thriller hopefully but obviously I didn't get to it in October and then the last book which is perfect for the holidays I they had a ton of these at my Ollie's and they were $3.99 and it's um on this Christmas a five-year journal of your favorite traditions memories and gifts and it's about this big <laughs> it's about this big um it's it's a decent size it's not like a super tiny little notebook and it has different prompts um there is a little bit of religion in it, which I just now noticed, but, um, like this one's December 17th, um, or December 18th. What is the most challenging aspect of the season for you? Um, December 11th, what are you doing for the first time this season? What will your Christmas dinner menu include? Um, what is one thing you really want for Christmas? Um, these are, there's, a, there's a ton of different prompts and it's apparently five years worth of journaling and I it's something that I would like to get into journaling um I have a mental health journal on my Christmas wish list actually so I, it's something that I kind of want to get into and I'm like I can store five years worth of Christmas memories in this and it's tiny it's compact and I just I didn't I've actually I saw it twice I, I saw it once and I didn't get it and then I went back and I saw it, it was still there I was like okay I'm gonna get it because they're gonna be gone with the holidays and then last 
I thought that was the last one, but it just reminded me that I have another book that I have loaned to my mom, um, or not in a loan, necessarily given it to my mom. Um, it is a girl wash your face. You know, that book that everyone talked about forever. Um, it was on sale for $4.99 at Ollie's hardcover. There was quite a few of them actually. And so she's currently got that one and wow, that is all of the books. I don't know why I say it like that's oh that's not very much but because that's plenty and like I said I haven't touched any of these yet I am currently like I said reading red white and water royal blue I I did not know much about this book before I got into it I'm only like 60 70 pages in it but obviously it's a gay romance and I did not know that so not that there's anything wrong with that don't think I've ever read one but it just took me by surprise I just I don't know I don't know why I just assumed it was a heterosexual relationship but anyway I'm reading it I'm not far enough in to say if I like it or not but everyone talks about it so I'm sure that I will but that will be probably not in this upcoming recent reads because I'd say it's gonna be a while before I finish that but the other recent reads is gonna be coming out in the next week so I definitely like I said subscribe and be waiting for that one so that is all for this video I thank you guys so much for watching but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video Bye.